Hello everyone, Firestar back. Uh, this is episode 4, or uh, no, 5 actually, or episode 2 of this Westbridge Hill series. Um, in between last episode and this episode, I have finished cutting the field along with Jeffrey, finished harvesting, and bailing as well. So, we're going to pick up from there. Uh, I'm just going to take this back to the farm real fast. As you can see down in the bottom, Gives you, just to get you an idea of how big this field is. The field on that you start with in package tech, I got 39 bales from, I believe, somewhere around 39. This one, I got 254 of the same size bales. So I guess you could say this, this map's a little bigger. A little bigger. <laughs> it's a lot bigger. Okay, so we need to make some money real fast. Check. And it's it's going to still be wheat that we're selling, and it's still at the train station is the best place to sell it. And we have 26,000 wheat in storage, and that's just from. Yeah, there we go. Just from that one field, as well as the uh, little bit that's still in here. So I'm just going to finish filling up this tractor. It's going to take. Two runs, even with this trailer, which carries 24,200. What we're going to do is we're going to sell this so we can get the bale picker upper that goes with the uh, uh, that really small baler. And then we're going, while we're doing that, we're going to set up the uh, cultivator to cultivate the field, get Jeffrey back up to do that. And I think we're going to seed it. I think uh, we're going to again plant meat. This is, this is the American map. America. Fields of grain or something like that. So it's going to be wheat, it looks like. Might be corn. Could be canola. You know, we need the cash crop. Although I think we'll plant canola on the other field. Field number 17. I think we'll plant canola and do wheat again on 16. Or we might do canola on 16 and wheat on 17. But we're going to get 17 as well this episode. I don't know, I don't believe so, because it didn't on the last map, but I don't know if trains do travel along this train track. It'd be cool if they did, it'd be a nice addition. go. And unloading. Alright, we started at 2,300. Let's see how much money we end with. Oh my. We almost made $30,000 from that one run. They have clearly redone the price system. That's that's all I can. Let's do this. This, I mean, I don't believe that you got anything close to that on the last map. Bailing technology. Bail loader. Alright. There's the bail loader. We'll come back and pick that up with another tractor. Just have to uh, sell this. Sell the rest of this uh, grain. I think while the cultivator is going, and after we finish the bailing, uh, and then while the cultivator is still going, we'll go around and uh, sell the remainder of the items we have. A little bit more money, you know, 
money never, uh, never really hurt anyone. Should be enough to take the rest. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's a lot of green. That's a lot of wheat. Wheat. That we have produced. Oh, I figured out the horn, by the way. Horn is zero. This map definitely has a different color scheme on the other one. It's a lot more earthy. Hag instead was very bright and green and European, I guess. And this is kind of definitely has a lot more uh <laughs> <sighs> sorry. It definitely has a lot more brown in it. Yeah. That's the only way I can put it. It's got a lot more brown. The grass isn't green, it's kind of dead. The trees are kind of brown. It looks very fall, very odd. There we go. Break on the money. back. We'll uh, get that red tractor. Bring that red tractor over to the shop. Pick the baler. Start baling. Start picking up the bales. Cultivating. Yeah. We'll get the farm ready for the next harvest. Yeah. That'll do. I'm still debating, um, well, no, I'm not debating, I'm trying to figure out what forge wagons are for. I think they have something to do with silage and, and cow and sheep feeding, but I'm not sure. There, we'll sort everything in this proper shed later. Actually, I think we'll just, I'll just take this and get the bailing stuff with this. Let's see. Well, you know, hmm. It's a big field. We're going to have to seed it after we cultivate. Do we want to get a bigger cultivator or a bigger seeder? Or, or uh, a windrower would be real nice for bailing. We still only have that far, so what do we want to get? Let's take a look at what we have. Let's start with the mods. Okay, tractors. Basically just old style stuff there in the shelter. It's kind of cool. It's a front loader. Um, that's for harvesting. Oh, corn. Tough corn for us, but so corn has something to do with cows. Oh, no, I just called. Now we have a better cultivator than that. And there's this. I don't know what this is for. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go back to the normal thing. Tractors, nope, don't want a tractor, don't get a front loader. 
harvesters. Oh my, okay. That's uh, a little out of our price range right now. Ah, here are the new ones. Right here. The case. Alright, so potato, beef, no, no tippers, no cultivators, here we go. So it looks like six, we could get a six meter cultivator. Or, well, so this for showing, sowing maize, which is corn. I guess I'll keep the cedar that we have right now. Oh, we will need a sprayer. Because I decided I like sprayers just much better. Anything? Windower. No. Mm. Oh. What's this? Huh. It semi truck. Uh, so it looks like we'll get the sprayer right now. Oh, well, well we will get the sprayer. I should say that. Like that. I like that better than the uh, fertilizer thing because it lets you see uh, where the edges of your thing is. Okay, so we'll take this back. Yep, it's old. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the one that just chucks it in the back. Yeah. You can also seem to go any speed with it. Which is nice. So I guess, um, we'll look into getting a... Can we get a better cultivator? Or is it... Uh, it's in the cedar where they become one. Um... I think we'll make one like a Let's see, this is 3 meters. So we definitely want an upgrade from 3 meters. I think that's a much better option. That horsed. 22,000. Alright. So we'll, uh. We get? Okay, so no, we should get 22,000 actually. Uh, once we start doing this. So let's drop this off here. My phone. It's just right now. It's just not a mess of things being stored. Let's go back and get that sprayer now. Then. The sprayer, uh, it is. I believe it covers the same, if not a little smaller, area as the fertilizer. I just like it a lot better. You know. Um, you can, you can see, physically see the lines where the edge of your uh, spraying area is. With the fertilizer, you just kind of got to guess, and that leads to waste, and I don't like waste. this game and you know, let me know, because I want to know. Okay, let's fill them up. There we go. And like, let's just unfold it for a second, so you can see hopefully why I like it better huh 
Huh. I still don't know what that does. So this makes it nice and clearly... Uh, nice and clear where are the edges of what you can spray are. And I like that. Lucky these things don't break, huh? Jump up there. There we go. Get this thing hooked up to... No. We'll get this thing hooked up to the cultivator. I think. The farm all. First time we've used this farm all, the ones you started out with. As you can see it's uh, very old. Oh, those are the gauges up there. That's cool. It's a very, very, very old tractor here. Sitting on a metal bench, open to the air. A couple of pedals down there. I think that's about all for what this thing can do. That's, that's great. Okay, bring this over to the farm. Operating position. I'm gonna start operating. Ah, cruise control one. Well then, let's uh, lower the cultivator, hire a worker. Alright then, this is going to be slow going. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, farming simulator. <laughs> Going up and down fields endlessly. We're doing a different thing each time. Yeah. This is it. Alright, I'll call I think uh I'll call it an episode here. Uh we will pick up next time. Right here. Nothing nothing's gonna change between here and now. Nothing at all. I'm not gonna do anything. Alright, there we go. Thank you for joining me today. See you later.